Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Tinder router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. and the other into the router. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet port. and D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a password. Usually, it is admin or password. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. So, at the very beginning, you will see the setup wizard, which will help you configure your internet connection. First, the router will try to automatically detect your connection type. You can also select your connection type manually. All this information can be found in your contract with the internet provider. If you have a static IP address, select it and enter the required information. This type is applicable if you are assigned a fixed IP address for accessing the internet. If you have PPPoE, choose this option and enter your username and password. If you're not sure what type of connection you have, then select this option. 
is the most common type. Next, come up with a name and password for your future Wi-Fi network. The password must be at least eight characters long. Then click the OK button. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network using the new settings. After the basic setup, you should be redirected to the router's main page. Now you need to restart the router. But first, I recommend updating the firmware for stable performance. Here you can change the router's interface language. I'll keep it in English. Go to the administration menu. Here, click the online upgrade button. If a new firmware version is available, update it. After updating, reboot the router. To do this, while still in the administration menu, click the reboot button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully restarts. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If there's no internet connection, you need to try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go back to the administration menu. Here, find the WAN parameters section. From the drop-down list, select Clone Local Hosts MAC and click the OK button. Then once again reboot the router. Wait a few minutes for the router to fully power on. Now check if the internet is working, just try googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, at this point you need to call your internet provider. They will tell you exactly what type of connection you need and what additional parameters to set. That's all. If you found my video helpful, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below.